hello everyone welcome back to another video hope you're doing well thank you so much guys for coming back in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this wrap dress with a rough wadi button i have a similar video in my channel but this one is different from the one i have in my channel so i have a four yards of chiffon fabric here i have my pattern draft my rulers my scissors a marker and the table so I'll be drafting it on the pattern before transferring it to the fabric. So let's get started. So we start with the upper part. The full length of my dress is 55 inches. I'll be using 17 and a half for the upper part, that's the half length. 25 inches for the middle part and 13 inches for the ruffles. So this is my pattern paper, it's folded into two. I use the biggest part of the upper part to cut out the pattern paper, then added about one to two inches for sewing allowance. I have 17 and a half inches here. This one inch at the bottom is for sewing allowance. So we go to the upper part here and place half of the shoulder measurement. Half of the shoulder measurement is eight inches. I will add half inch to it. That's eight and a half inches. We mark three and a half inches for the neck width. Then 1.5 inches for the back depth. Then I'll mark 3.5 inches for the front depth. I don't think I'll be using that anyway. I'll just mark it. I'll make a curve here. That's the back neckline. This is the front neckline. This is for illustration purpose. We're just drafting a basic pattern. So I will go to the shoulder here, mark one inch for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. From the shoulder slope here, I will mark half of the random hole measurement. To get my armhole, I will divide the bust measurement by 6 plus 1.5 inches. So I have 8 inches. I will still mark the shoulder measurement right on this 8 inches. 8 and a half inches is the shoulder measurement. So. I will make a line here. The bust measurement is 39 inches divided by 4 is 9 and 3 quarter. Not 9 and 3 quarter here. So this is now the chest line. I will go to the armhole and look for the midpoint. This is the midpoint. Then I will connect it. This is the back armhole. Right from this midpoint, I will come inside by three quarter of an inch or half inch. I will place my mark it like so and connect it like so. This is the front arm hole. So from shoulder to waist is 17 and a half inches. Right on this 17 and a half inches, I will place a quarter of the waist measurement. A quarter of the waist measurement is eight and a half inches. I don't think I'll be adding that to it. I'll make a line here. So we mark one inch for sewing allowance. And mark one inch for sewing allowance at the waistline here. Connect it. I will go ahead and cut it out. I'm cutting out the back armhole. So I'll make a notch here. This is the midpoint. I'll be using it later. I will set this aside. We'll be drafting out the lower part. My pattern is folded into two. I used the hip measurement to cut out the pattern, added about 3 inches to it. The pattern is 14 and a half inches when you fold it into two. I'm not adding zip to it because it's a wrap dress. And the length is 25 inches. This is 25 inches. I'll add extra 1 inch for sewing allowance to join it at the bottom part and the upper part. Alright, so I will go ahead and replace the measurement. From waist to hip is 9 inches. I'll mark my 9 inches here. 
I will go to the waistline here and place a quarter of the waist measurement. A quarter of the waist measurement is eight and a half inches. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. I will go to the hip line and place a quarter of the hip measurement. The hip measurement I'm working with is 11 and a quarter. 11 and a quarter. I will add extra two inches to it. I connect it like so. So from here, I'll just take it to the. I will just take it to the hem of this side. I will mark it like a line. Okay. This is the. the thing. I added extra three inches to the hem. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. When I open it, this is what I have. This is the midpoint. This will give me a guideline. As this is the upper part. So what I'm going to do is, I will spread my fabric on the table and use this to cut out the back side. Use the lower part as well to cut out the back side. So I spread my fabric on the table. I will cut out the back side. I will do the same thing for this side. I will show you guys after cutting it out. So guys, I've cut out the back side, the upper part and the lower part. I will set this aside and then concentrate on the front pattern. This is the front part. I will cut out the armhole first. Let me try. This is the midpoint. I made a notch here. Right from the midpoint here, I will mark five inches. You can mark four inches, five inches, depends on what you want. I will go up by 1.5 inches. I went up by 1.5 inches because I will be using half inch to join this upper part to the lower part and use the remaining one inch for the rope or bed. Right on this midpoint here, I will just mark the neckline. I've marked out 1.5 inches already. I'll mark 7 inches. So this is 7 inches. So I will just take it from here, from the neckline here. Bring it down to the 7 inches. From this 7 inches, I will take it to meet this 1.5 inches I went off. I will just make a cuff here. So I will go ahead and cut it out. So this is what we have for the upper part. So we'll be cutting out two of these, one for this side and one for the other side. So we'll go ahead and work on the lower part. I will open up the pattern paper. This is the midpoint. For the upper part, we added five inches to it. So I will still add five inches to this side right from this midpoint here. So this is five inches. From these five inches, I will go down by 16 inches. I came down by 16 inches just to mark where the curve will start from. It's right from these 5 inches. I make a line here to this 16 inches. From the 16 inches, I make a curve to the lower part here. I will go ahead and cut it out. So this is where we have, I'll be cutting out two of these, one for this side and one for the other side. You see, if you match the waistline together, the waistline aligned together. So I will cut out two of these and two of these. I will fold the fabric into two. And so guys, I will go ahead and cut it out. The fabric is folded into two. I lay the pattern against the fabric. I will do the same thing for the upper part i will fold the fabric into two and cut it out this 
this is the upper part it's also folded into two i will go ahead and cut it out I'll we'll make a notch here, that's the midpoint. Now, well, guys, we'll be cutting out the sleeves. So, this is the fabric, I'll fold it into two. The sleeve length is 24 inches. I'll be using 4 inches for the band. I'll be left to 20 inches. I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance. That is 21 inches. Right from the upper part, here, I'll mark 21 inches. The round sleeve is 8 inches. I add 1 inch for sewing allowance, that is 9 inches. I mark 9 inches here, come down by 4 inches right from the upper part here. For the lower part here, the round sleeve is 8 inches. I add 1 inch for sewing allowance, that is 9 inches. I will add extra 3 inches to it because I will be making a little gather here. So I'll be making a little gut at the lower part. So I'll bring it right from here to meet the 12 inches. I'm cutting out two of these. So the band is 4 inches. Folded into a two is 8 inches when you open it up. You have uh, four inches, but I will add half inch for sewing allowance. That is four point five inches. I have four point five inches here. So I will fold it like so again. The round sleeve is eight inches because I folded into two. I'll mark four inches here. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance. That is five inches. So we cut it out. This upper part here plus sewing allowance is five inches. The down part here is four and a half inches. I will cut out two of that. We will go ahead and join the fabric together. This is the front, the upper part. This is the back. I will join the front and the back together. I will take one of the fronts, place it here, and take the other one and place it there, right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join the shoulders and use one inch to join the side. I will also join the lower part. This is the back. I will take one of the front, place it like so, and take the other side and place it like so. I will use one inch to join the side and use one inch to join the other side. So guys, I'm done joining the upper part and the lower part together. So this is the lower part. I will go ahead and cut out the ruffles. We will cut out the ruffles and they cut out the neck collar. So this will be lapping this. So there is no need of me adding any ruffle to this side. I will start my ruffle right from here. I will make a notch here. If I am adding the ruffle, I will start it right from here. So I will measure here round and then use it to cut out the ruffles. I have 90 inches here. Is that how you times it by 2 or 2.5? It depends on how full you want the ruffles to be. For this one, I'll be timesing it by 2.5. 90 times 2.5 is 225. So I will cut out 225 for the ruffles. I have my ruffle here, 225. Remember, the length is 13 inches. I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance, that is 14 inches for the lower part plus sewing allowance. The length is 14 inches plus sewing allowance and the wideness is 225 inches because I'm tensing the 90 inches by 
before we gather it, I will cut out the collar necklines. I will set this aside and bring the upper part. This is the upper part. I've also joined them together. I will go ahead and measure this upper part here, the neckline, like so. I will measure it and use it to cut out the collar. I will fold it into two. And measure it. I have about 25 inches here. I folded it into two. When you open it up like this, you have 50 inches. So I will use that 50 inches to cut out the, the collar. So I fold my fabric into two. I'm cutting out the collar or band. I have three and a half inches here. I will use half inch to join it to the neckline. I want it to be three inches after sewing it. I'm folding like so. So we fold that into two like this, I'll have 25 inches. This is 25 inches. I will check the neckline. Let me see what I have here. And fold this neck here into two. I have four inches there. This is where I folded it into two. I will mark four inches here. I will come to the bottom part here and mark 2.5 inches. If they, I measure the neckline is 4 inches, so I measure 4 inches from here down. Then make a curve here to meet this 2.5 inches. I will cut it out. This side is a bit smaller than this side, so this side will be added to the neckline. I will make a notch here. I will open it up. This is the midpoint. I will look. This is the upper part. I will look for the midpoint of this upper part. This is the midpoint. I will stitch it right from the wrong side. This is the wrong side. So before I stitch it, I'll make sure I join these together. Then stitch it right from the inside like this. I'll use it to turn the neckline. I'll use half inch to stitch it right from the wrong side. All the way to this side. Stitch it to this side. And after I've done that, I will turn it to the right side. So guys, I finished attaching the collar to the neckline. So after attaching it, I use an overlock machine to tidy up the edges. Then turn it to the side and they give it a good press. After stitching it, I have to bring it to the side and then stitch it down, make it top stitch here. So this is the lower part. So we'll go ahead and join the upper part and the lower part together. We we'll use half inch to join them together. We'll join it like so, right side facing right side. I will use half inch to join them together. So after I've done that, I will attach the ruffle to the lower part. So this is the lower part. So remember I made a, a notch here. This will be going inside. I will start my ruffle right from here. This is my ruffle. So I've hemmed the bottom part. Before you attach the ruffle to the upper part, make sure you hem it round. I use half inch to hem it round. I will stitch this side. Join them together, right side facing right side. I'll use my gather stitch to join them together. I will start stitching it right from this notch I made earlier. As I stitch, I will gather this ruffle to fit in this 90 inches at the bottom. So guys, I've finished joining the upper part to the lower part and I've also attached the, the ruffles to the lower part of the dress. This is the ruffle. So this is where I stopped. 
I will hem this other remaining part, then turn this to this side. Next is for us to join the sleeves together and attach it to the dress. I will also cut out the bed. So we need two beds, one for the side and one for the other side. So this is the sleeve. This is the band. I will join the sleeves and the band together. I will gather this sleeve to fit in this band. The band is 10 inches. I will gather it up to 10 inches. After I finish gathering it, I will join the sides together. I have two beds here. Folded into two is three and a half inches. I'll use half inch to stitch it from here all the way and I will turn it inside right from this other side. I'll do the same thing for the other bed. So I didn't cut the two beds equal. This bed is 60 inches and this one is 45 inches. This is longer than this because this will be on this side. It will go around the waist and come back to the front side. Why this will be inside? It will just go around the back side. I'll go and stitch them together and come and show you guys. Guys, I finished joining the sleeves together. I've also joined the beds together. So the bed will be on this side. The short one will be inside. Will be on this side. I will attach it here. And why this long one will be here? I'll attach this here. So this one will go inside. I will go to the side here. This is the waistline. I'll go up by half inch right from the waistline here. I will lose the stitch here one inch. So this can pass through the side. So pass through the side and go to the back side. Why this one will go this side? I will attach the sleeve. I will turn the dress to the wrong side. This is the right side of the sleeve. I will tuck it inside. I will match the side seam together. Right side facing right side. I will use our finish to join them together. I will do the same thing for the other sleeve. So guys, I finished attaching the sleeves to the dress. I also attached the bed. So this one will go inside. I will pass it through this one inch. Take it to the back. So this long one will go to the back. And come back to the front side again. I will knot it here. You can just knot it wherever you want to. This is the lower part. we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much guys for watching if you're here for the first time please subscribe to my channel i will see you guys in my next one love you bye